desert is advancing. It engulfs farmland, fills in watercourses and covers roads. It isolates, it destroys. Timbuktu, the jewel of the Sahel, the city of 333 saints, is threatened, but not doomed. The enemy is sand. The hero of the day is a dry bush. The plan is simple. The sand must be prevented from advancing further. Goal number one, stabilize the dunes. This natural barrier slows down the wind and prevents dispersion of the sand. The dune is immobilized and this mythical town can breathe a sigh of relief. Goal number two, recreate an ecosystem to ward off assaults from the desert. Selecting, planting, something is coming to life. Goal number three, ensure that the population benefits in a sustainable manner. To achieve this, local organizations have the support of a real partner, the European Union. In this new landscape, market gardening is enjoying a revival. It's been of enormous benefit to us. Now we grow vegetables and sell them. It's a source of income. The planting of a tree can give birth to an orchard. The desert retreats, a town can breathe again. Jobs are created. Leaving is no longer inevitable, hope returns. It is everywhere, for everyone. In the Amazon, rather than cutting down trees, nut harvesters collect their fruits. In Gabon, the protected gorillas pose for ecotourists. In Sri Lanka, the lakes irrigate rice fields. Respecting the environment isn't about gushing over the wonders of nature. Respecting the environment is an intelligent, sustainable investment. For the European Union, working for sustainable development in the world means giving everyone the means to progress without destroying biodiversity, being aware that our ecosystems are linked, remaining vigilant, opening our eyes to the world, its wonders and its fragility.